right, so this is Tomes of Mephistopheles, patch 0.8a. So I'm just going to uh, log in, and uh, this is one of the latest features. Um, there is a, players can now be created in names. So this, uh, this is a player I have, Monster Cameron, and you can save them. Actually, on the update uh, information, the change log, uh, you can save, characters save at uh, one minute intervals upon client disconnect. So, it does auto saving as well. So, right here. And I also saved my world as well, so that's a new feature. I think that's from the uh, prior patch, point, uh, 0 uh, 0.078. So, now my lo uh, world's loading up, and uh, yeah, a couple of uh, really nice fixes and updates to patch 0.8a 0.08a actually and um, one of the big feature changes is uh, actually pretty good um, the, uh, the uh, performance so uh, well I was always getting good performance on the, the previous uh, passes but the performance this round is actually fairly good it's actually smoother uh, with this patch and the thing, uh, the thing I like about this though, that I was using a AMD H, uh, Radeon HD 6850, and I downgraded my graphics card to a 6570, and it's actually, <laughs> believe it or not, running smoother. I don't know if that's uh, graphics driver issues or what have you, but it is running smoother. So they've, they've done stuff to optimize it, and I have to run it on my netbook again to see how the performance goes. But uh. uh a couple other features are, um, you see right here, uh, this new hot bar. That was not, that was not, um, uh, that wasn't in the, the prior videos I made. So if there's a new hot bar, you can, uh, quick key it, uh, you hit one. Uh, no, that's actually set for spell, but you can just hit like two or three, you can set bombs. You see, the animations are a little bit smoother. I think that might be new. That's a pretty good. But yeah. And also the AI has gotten a <laughs> difficulty increase uh, by a small amount. But that's not the, the whole truth of it. Uh, even though the difficulty hasn't increased too much, the AI well, the spawn, uh, spawn rates are higher, so you get more AI on screen. Right in this room, there are about, I would say about five other AI opponents to go through. And also, the, the blowing, um, the, it actually hits tab to see the energy tree. But the, uh, the energy potion right here increases the amount. So you get a more, uh, more stamina, more, uh, more health and more mana. So that's a new addition as well. Or at least I think it's a new addition. Uh, so you can see that in the, the previous uh, updates. But yeah, look at this. Oh, they mob you more often now. You gotta use the run. Uh, you can see that they're doing the new jump animation. Uh, uh, so you can see AI has gotten update and uh, spawn rates got gotten update and there are more um, there are more different types of AI. So you got your regular uh, work. Oh crap! You have your regular. Um, Skeletons, then you have uh, fire flamethrower skeletons, and you have these um, green ones. I don't remember what they're called. Oh crap, how they gonna kill me? Uh, go die. Put that on my hot bar and run. Stop that. And uh, some of them even use like uh, the fire skills that you have. I noticed them use uh, like a skeleton just waves his hand and there's fire falling from the ceiling. So they like the same skills that you had. These ones, I think. You see that? From the ceiling. Oh crap. I stand no chance against so many. Let's see, they glitch out. Oh crap. <laughs> uh, don't jump all at once. So. I'm actually having. The difficulty has gone up, that's for sure. It's a little bit more challenging, but not challenging on a per enemy basis, but on the point that they mob you. 
but with the, the performance optimizations, uh, that really isn't too much of an issue. And that was actually uh, semi Oh, who am I kidding? That was intense. I know that some of these guys yeah, they get glitched and they don't move. I don't think that's a feature. Um, let me see. Yeah, that's pretty much um, that's pretty much the gist of this update. Uh, performance up uh, upgrades and uh, enemy AI bug fixes and uh, the the hot bar and the inventory uh, uh, menu that you bring up with tab. Whoa, this is new. I think that's the paint elemental. That was uh, the new. Oh my god. It actually creeps me out a little bit. Let me see if I can. This is actually almost intense. Oh, this is intense. Oh crap. You know what? Containers at one. So yeah, more enemies, a higher difficulty, and uh, somewhat rewarding combat at this point. And multiplayer as well. Actually, I don't think I uploaded the video, but multiplayer actually works. You can set up your own dedicated service for that. And the binaries are included when you purchase it um, from Desura or from uh, their website, uh, which I'll have in the, uh, the description. So if you want to have some fun, uh, if you have a couple friends over, or online too, if you can imagine to set that up. Um, you can have a nice little server running where you can do some PvP or you can, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe kill some baddies with your friends. Uh, it's all possible. But yeah, that's that's the gist of this update, and I'll link you to the change logs so you can see what happened to yourself. And again, I do recommend that you you, you pick this one up, maybe on the store. Pick uh, it up on the store so you can get um, Yeah, pick it up on the store so you can get the uh, uh, Windows and uh, Linux binaries if you uh, crap like that. Yeah, so pick it up on uh, the store if you want to pick up Windows and Linux binaries uh, for the uh, servers as well. Because uh, I think you can buy it on the website. I don't know if you're going to get all, all the binaries, uh, all the executables. But, um, but yeah, that's Tomes of Mephistopheles patch 0.08a. Peace.